Hey guys, time to look at another Titans Returns figure. One of the later figures I got from the line. So far, because I still don't have Wave 3. Anywhere in Musta or in my hometown, I should say. I just said my hometown. Oh well. This is Chrome Dome. And he looks awesome. I actually thought you were supposed to peg this into the side of him, but apparently he was on top. This is Gardens combined. Chrome Dome has a very similar mold to Dead End and <laughs> Breakneck and Prowl and Streetwise, but it is not the same mold. They are not the same figure, just for the re pull for the Master gimmick. But there's one cool thing about that Chrome Dome. To get out the headmaster out of its cockpit, you open the hood, and he's got a little molded in seat. Which we have to do for robot mode anyway. So let's get to robot mode. Fold back the seat the rest, or fold back the top of the head the rest of the way. The top of the car back the rest of the way. Hold the arms. As I said, this is very similar. I was informed this is not the same mold though. By several people. Found a 12 for one. And my friend Firestar for another. And his friend Hawksman for yet another. Hold on the legs. Basically, basically, do the same transformation you would do for Breakdown. They're not Breakdown, Dead End. Oh, wait, I haven't reviewed Dead End yet. <laughs> okay, um, do the same transformation you would do for Prowl. around his legs, pop apart his legs, but on his foot, because he actually has real feet. He's not just sitting on his foot. Uh, the bottom of his leg. And then fold down the rest, fold down the uh, head, yeah, he just had the guy the rest of the way. And fold this base down. And now, this is one big difference between them. The others were, of course, not headmasters. Chrome Dome, by the way, is one of my favorite G1 headmasters. He's basically the he's the tech guy of the group. Fold out the hands. I was gonna say, darn it, I should have turned my nails, but that was days ago. I should have nails back. Unless something broke. And there we have his trans detector. They're called in Master Force. I actually think they're called in Headmasters too. And there's a little robot. Chrome Dome's actual head. Transform. Transform! Head on! Okay. Alright, this is just easier Chrome Dome. And there you have Chrome Dome in robot mode. Of course, you can even bolt his guns. Or if you want to be fancy, you can give those guns combined. I'm sure. I've never tried that, but... Oh, no, wait, that's right, he holds his... Oh, no, I think he holds it like this, maybe. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> that was like he held, held this gun underhand, but no. It's just that I was picking it over on so my side. But I wielded it like a katanfa. Like uh, tanfa. For those who've seen Power Rangers, Jungle Fury is Jungle Fury Blue's weapon. Now I can't get this one to pay in. And actually, punt back there. <laughs> blue and pink have the exact. Uh, blue and yellow, sorry. There's no Pink Ranger. Jungle Fury have the exact same weapon. <laughs> it's just pinks. Or yellows. Yellows is just two put together and then. The handles flipped. There. Now he's wielding both guns because I can't get it into the other hand. There, I'm right handed. I love putting things in the right hands. That's my pen. There! Now he's wielding it right handed. He's like, I believe he was right handed. Uh, uh, overall, can I recommend Chrome Dome? Yes! Can I recommend Highbrow, who I've actually. That's sitting next to me. See for our next video. Can I recommend Brainstorm? I can't find one! That does not mean Brainstorm's a bad figure! It just means I can't find one. And you already know my thoughts on hard, Hardhead. 
Chrome Dome is a very nice depiction of the original G1 figure. Chrome Dome is his American name. I do not know his actual Japanese name. It might be Chrome Dome. Who knows? I find it funny, um, because I looked it up recently, Skull Cruncher's Japanese name for the current figure is just Skull. I find it funny because that's not even a common rider. No spoilers for that, but he's a movie exclusive rider. For reasons that's explained in the movies. <laughs> oh, you know what? I don't think it, I don't know if anybody watching me likes Kamen Rider. Kamen Rider Skull dies before the series begins in Kamen Rider Double. So, it's explained what exactly happened in the movie. But, basically, he died to the one of my guy's older sister. Yeah, it's that never makes sense. But she's evil, so yeah. So go ahead and pick up Chrome Dome if you want, and I'll see you next time.